Welcome, my friend, to a new episode of Frameworks. And this is Shadi Yusuf. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Receptive Skills Framework. But this time, we're not going to focus on reading. We're going to focus on listening. Right. So, in this episode, I'm going to talk again about the three blocks of the Receptive Skills Framework. But this time, I'm going to use authentic material. And I'm going to use the listening framework in order to create a listening lesson from this authentic material. So let's see what I have chosen. Well, actually, I found an interesting video for two of my favorite British actors, um, Daniel Craig, James Bond, and um, Catherine Tate, um, a famous British comedian. And, um, you know, I like both actors so much. And I found um, a video released by the BBC for both actors um, as part of um, comic relief. And I guess it would be really interesting to turn that video into a whole lesson. Now, as you see, it's um, a funny video about the relationship between Elaine and Daniel. Uh, and of course, Elaine is Catherine Tate. Um, and I really like the video. So let's see how I'm going to use the Receptive Skills Framework in turning that video into a lesson. And as we said in the previous episode, when we talked about the Receptive Skills Framework and reading, we said that the first block is pre-reading. Now, because we're talking about listening today, so we're going to say the first block is pre-listening. Now, in the pre-listening uh, block, we have two essential stages. Number one, leading, and number two, context setting. So let's start uh, with leading. And my leading was like this. Let me show you how I came up with the idea. I said, my leading was a question. And this question can be used either in a student-centered way, so students can ask each other and discuss, or I can do it in a teacher-centered way. I can ask the class, you know, and get answers and ask follow-up questions, all that kind of stuff. And the question is, what are the characteristics you need to find in your future partner. What are the characteristics you need to find in your future partner? Now, uh, students can discuss that together or I can ask them and I ask them follow-up questions and all that stuff. Now let's move to context setting. How I'm going to set the context here. And as we said before in the previous episode, context setting needs to be more focusing on the content of the text. So again, uh, my idea for the context setting is this picture. And as you see in the picture, we've got Elaine and Daniel, or in other words, Catherine Tate and Daniel Craig. And then I'm going to ask my students, can you recognize any famous actors in this picture? And I'm sure that my students would be able to recognize at least one of the two actors. And then I'm going to say, now this is taken from a program or a movie. How do you think the relationship between these two is? And then some kind of prediction. So look at what I'm doing now. So first leading and then context setting using a picture. And from the context setting, a prediction question. Now after that, and because we're talking here about authentic material, uh, of course I expected that there would be some challenging words for my students. So I decided to go for a pre-teaching vocabulary stage and look at how I designed uh, this task for the pre-teaching vocabulary stage. Um, mm, so. I've got some definition and I've got a box of the difficult vocabulary in the video. Like what? Like succession, unfortunate, liaison, un, um, undeterred, kick off, stroll, you name it. 
Okay, so I've got some interesting vocabulary here for students to study. I actually ran this lesson for my upper intermediate students. Right, so that was my pre-teaching vocabulary stage. So as you see, I've got four stages to focus on in a pre-listening block. The first one is leading, and then context setting, and then prediction, and then pre-teaching vocabulary. Now, Let's move, now let's come to the while listening stage. And as, as I said in a previous um, episode of Frameworks, when you design a receptive skills lesson in the while listening or the while reading stage, you need to start with what is easy and move to what is more challenging. And this is why I chose in this lesson to start with listening for gist. So that was my question for listening for gist. Elaine and Daniel are dating watch the video where Elaine is talking about the relationship and describe the love relationship in one word. Discuss with your friend why you have chosen this word. So that was my idea for a just a listening task. And then I decided after the just listening task, I decided to come up with a question focusing on both listening for specific information and listening for details. So I designed questions like, where does Elaine live? According to Daniel, who does Elaine look like? So these two questions focus on listening for specific information. Then questions three, four, five, and six focus on listening for details about what does Daniel say about his job? What does Daniel like about Elaine? What kind of trip are the couple going for? Uh, why were the couple angry after the trip? So again, as we see the questions focus on um, listening for a specific information and listening for details. And that was my while listening stage. Then I decided to come to the last part of the lesson, which is the post listening block. And in the post listening block, this is what I decided to do, I decided to go to a lovely website and I usually visit this website when I want to get um, some questions uh, for a discussion activity because it has a lot of topics with ready-made questions and I pick and choose, I love it. It is called ESLdiscussions.com, I use it a lot and I got you know, um, I got this discussion question on love, which is the topic of my lesson. So, um, as you see, I've got questions for student A, 10 questions, and questions also for student B. And then I'm going to get my students to work together. And of course, after the talk and the discuss, there will be the feedback stage. And as we talked about in uh, all episodes of Frameworks, feedback is divided into two kinds, content feedback and language feedback. So, my friends, this is how I used a video from YouTube designed by the BBC in order to create a whole listening lesson using the listening framework. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget subscribing uh, to my YouTube channel. This was Shadi Abusiv from British E Training Center. And hey, don't forget the coming episode and another framework. At this time, we're going to start talking about language frameworks. Bye bye.